Hey YouTube, this video is going to show days one and two of my Inktober drawings. For those who don't know, Inktober is a drawing challenge where you do one ink drawing a day the entire month and try to improve your inking skills and develop positive drawing habits. It was created by Mr. Jake Parker, an absolutely amazing artist. He has a channel on YouTube that I'll link in the comments below. I would highly recommend checking him out. I really respect him as an artist because I love the content he draws, but I also love all the wonderful advice he gives. I've found he's given great, I guess, pep talk videos and experience videos that have really helped raise my confidence as an artist and help change the way I think. So please go check him out. I love his videos. I love listening to them while I draw or even when I'm on the bus for more. I haven't been posting many videos lately, but that's because I've been participating in October. My intention is to post a video for every single day I've drawn. But between working full time and paying attention to my dog and exercising him, it's been quite challenging for me to do the drawings and the inking and the video editing. So I'm sorry for spamming all your inboxes by uploading so many videos at once. I did my initial sketch with an erasable Crayola color pencil. I like working in color rather than pencil because I find pencil presses into the paper too much. I used my Pilot Pocket brush pen to ink. I haven't had it for too long, so I thought it would be great practice. You'll notice when I'm inking, I'll periodically bust out a piece of paper and lay it down. And that's so that my hand doesn't smear the ink. I love Pilot Pocket brush pens, but boy do they smear. For my first Inktober drawing, I decided to keep it simple and easy. My only criteria was that it was a girl with big crazy hair and sunglasses and kind of a flirty pose. I wanted to do a flirty pose because I feel like sunglasses are covering her eyes and eyes are the windows to the soul, I guess. I felt it was important that her body language be expressing something when her eyes were unable to. I created a circly, framey thing around her because I didn't want her just to be floating in white. I think I was kind of thinking like a stamp or a seal or some sort of logo. I also like that it gave me the opportunity to have her hair kind of overlapping over the container. I didn't want to leave it just white, so uh, as you can see, I used little dots of pen to create some texture in the background. I think the rule of Inktober is just use ink, so I have technically stuck to that rule by staying away from color. I used cross hatching to add some shadows to her hair and added some freckles to her cheeks. I don't like to leave everything too white. It makes it look too flat to me. I wasn't really happy with how I ended up doing the shading on the palm of her hand. I wish I did more of a cross-hatching look, or at least had just left it alone. But too late now. At least I know for next time. I think the hardest part was just resisting the urge to try and fix it. I think if I'd put the time in trying to fix it, I probably would have wrecked it more. And from what you can see of the final drawing, it didn't turn out too bad. I was pretty happy with it for day one. On day two, I decided to draw an anglerfish with a mermaid. 
I'm sorry, but I didn't record myself actually doing the pencil art. I did it at a friend's house, so I did not have my camera equipment with me. I like cute, scary things. And I've been wanting to draw an angler mermaid for a long time, so I thought Inktober would be the perfect time to draw them together. I made Miss Anglerfish fairly realistic. You know, if you ignore her eye with the eyelashes. Fish don't really have much use for eyelashes. Something I was a little proud of was the fact that I made their lures look exactly the same. I was hoping that would make people look at this drawing and instantly realize the mermaid is an anglerfish too. And of course I couldn't resist adding that little heart in. Cause clearly the mermaid loves the anglerfish. Using my Pilot Pocket brush pen was fun. While I was inking this, I was trying to pay attention to how much pressure I was using with the pen. This was really difficult. I'm not really used to this pen yet. I've only had it for a few months now, and while I love how inky and dark it is and the dark thick lines I can get, I do find it a challenge to do very light, thin lines. But I guess it's just a matter of practice and getting more control over how much pressure I'm using while drawing. I was so paranoid throughout this whole inking process that I was going to smear something. Which is kind of funny because the drawing already has smears on the bottom. And I did smear her lip a bit, but I felt like it didn't really take away from this piece. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give her a top or not, because where's an anglerfish mermaid going to find a shirt? But I didn't really like how I had drawn her boobs, so I gave her a shirt. I was initially going to use cross hatching in the anglerfish's mouth but then decided I wanted that to be the darkest point in the picture. So I filled it in completely black, as you can see, being very careful to try and not to color over the teeth. I really love how the glowy lines around the anglerfish's lair look. It really shows what the pocket pilot brush pen can do if you alter the pressure you're using and the way you stroke the line. It looks really cool, so I guess I really just need to practice until I can control that completely. So looking at the line art now, I think her hair looks pretty nice. But at the time when I was drawing it, I thought it looked weird. So of course I had to try and fix it. Which didn't turn out in a way that I was that happy with. I tried adding some hair strands, but then realized I'd smudged the back. So of course I pulled it out even more. Luckily they're underwater, so some of the shape can be attributed to them floating. The end result was pretty cute. Here's the final, a mermaid and her beloved anglerfish. If you liked this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. See you!